Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Andrew Can, and together we can game. In the last episode of Can Play That Dragon Cancer, we learned more about Joel the Baby Knight. In this chapter, Dehydration, we saw Ryan contemplating the colors of a hospital wall. Like we will get up and explore the area. There's a menu. Why don't we get up? He also looked out the window and said the sunset is nice. Which is interesting to see because considering his circumstance. I wonder the last time he just looked and saw and stared at a sun. Blue. Purple. <laughs> hmm. The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Warm. And salty. Like tears. Warm and salty like tears. Interesting. One beautiful thing in game design is wherever you look... He won't stop crying. I don't Notice the shadow. Him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. I can only imagine what Ryan's going through as a parent. It got gotta be terrifying not to be able to... Help your son. It's okay, Jolie. Shh. Oh, don't throw your head, buddy. Don't. I guess we should go back to the arcade cabinet. This is the first time we've actually gotten a chance to look at ourselves in this game. It's interesting. Feels so bad. Press start. We can't continue, and I think it's symbolic, probably, to what that Joel can't continue. We can only seem to go near the crib. Here we go. Bouncing around. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I love your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> Is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, he won't stop crying. This is some of the hardest sounds I've ever had to listen to. That poor, poor Joel. You can hear, that's the cry of someone dying. And he is. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that just wanted. I don't know what else there is to do in here. I'm hungry. I wonder if he's hungry. Here's food. It also looks like medicine as well. I wonder, are they juxtaposing that he eats while Joel has medicine? Oh no, it's a juice box. He's screaming louder. Buddy, don't you want juice? He hits the box. I don't catch it. That crying is really resonating with me, and it's it hurts because I, I I they can't do anything for him. And he doesn't understand, and it makes it worse. And I wish I could just tell him it'd be okay. I can only imagine what Ryan felt. We'll try another juice box. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> he drinks it greedily, big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does, and I wipe his face of snot, and tears, and juice. And then he vomits, and I catch it. I always catch it. 
We're seeing his, his love, butter, really. But you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. Where's the ju what? The cabinet's still in the bathroom. I doubt we can continue. See what we can we can do here. It's so late, Joel. Lay down. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. I feel so bad for him. You can tell he's trying, and there is nothing he can do. Want to try playing with a toy, maybe? Okay, buddy, okay. I'll hold you. Oh, Joel Bug, you look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need. I can only imagine not only what Joel's going through, but his father, Ryan. This is very hard for me, personally. Because I understand exactly what he's saying. There's nothing he can do, and the helplessness is the worst feeling, personally, in the world. I am empty. You are... Son, and you've brought us this far. He's still here, not dead, not there, with you. Oh God, I want him here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. This shows just how even the simplest of moments we take for granted, the peace of knowing we're healthy. I'm not religious, but I understand everything he was asking for. Peace be still. So, we're Ryan again. Except, last There's time we saw him in the drunk. Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're gonna die. And where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep. In the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, Quiet. Be still and the sea becomes completely calm. If you know what he's talking about there, please let me know in the comments what Bible verse and he asks his passages. disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Interesting. I wonder why he recalled that passage specifically.
<laughs> so, now that we're in California, how much longer to San Francisco? About three and a half hours, bud. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bag. And it's my turn to be the king. Oh, oh Elijah, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. But now we have to do it as a boss. <laughs> My first edict as king is we dance like, like monkeys for 30 minutes. <sighs> Maybe like five minutes? Nope. Nope, babe. He said 30. We must do what he says. <laughs> They're good parents. You can tell they just want their children happy. And it's, I'm very happy they're showing us this because, I mean, considering what we saw before. My second edict as king is allow you to be the king. He gave up his kingship for his. Uh oh, he's kidding. Got ourselves a jokester here. Interesting to juxtapose what's happening to Joel with Jesus loves loves me because it's you got to think Jesus loves everyone but how can he show love with such things as cancer and it's an interesting idea I don't know if that was the message but that's how I interpreted it personally let me know your thoughts but more than that if he does die will Jesus even care will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus will he weep for me I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? I love this juxtaposition. And I think it's only natural because you've seen he's a man of faith, but him questioning this, these are all valid points. I love this visual because we're seeing and I think I was very close. If how could Jesus you love know, him if Jesus he's wept this? for Lazarus? Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. It's true, he did. And we both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. I don't know. This is them coming together. We saw them him drowning in their fight so this is them reconciling and he he's being honest he doesn't know he does hope and a lot of faith is strong hope not saying that their views are wrong but it's interesting from an outsider's perspective to see their thoughts because they are similar to mine but their faith is something that i think is incredible and if 
they have this faith, good for them. I don't know if there's any more inter inter like interactions with them, but I hope so. I hope that was everything, because that was something I wanted to see more of. Honestly. The Temple of God? Oh no. Joel is watching what I presume is a kid's show. Visually, this is incredible. The lines just, I love this game's art style. And seeing all this juxtaposed to Joel watching the kids show. Because I mean, this is Temple of God. Holy hell. Looks like a church. It is. We're slowly approaching something. I think I know what it is. Joel. There's a flame. Have mercy on us because Lord have mercy on us because Lord have mercy on us because he is weak. I wonder why we're lighting all these candles. Rise up, my God, come save Listening to them, just the chaos. The cries that they're crying out are hearing all their cries. As we light the candles, I think the church gets lighter too. I was wrong.
I feel so bad for them. Everything I do just brings me back to this piano. Oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Lord, rise up. My God, come save him. I'm not really sure what I need to do. going to keep trying to keep the I really have no idea what it's asking of us here I just see him again just looking at his tablet I'm not too sure what's going to happen now. They were praying for Joel, and that was very clear. It was interesting playing with the piano, hearing what we heard, and the lights. I'm, I'm not religious enough to know. He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was here. That is so beautiful. I love the heart in the center. Like I said, this game is so visually amazing. Loading. I think, I, I don't know how, picnic at the edge of the world. I think this might be the finale, folks. And I'm unsure. But what I am sure of is I love the game. Do Amy from Ryan. I like how that image is. So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, but with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent, and so also the Lord. 
And so we sit here in this new silence and long for the music to start again and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth and not only in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well. And that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved and that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, you grieve in silence, yet not without his presence. I think that was a beautiful letter to his wife. It's very clear that Joel has... Though I appreciate and I really think his hope Brian has is genuine. Because to truly have love must go through loss. You, it's cliche as hell, but you know you love something no longer. I like the name of this picnic pancake. I remember you. You made it too. I'm glad you're here. I love it here. I bet you would like it, too. Look at all of these pancakes. Did you ever see pancakes like this? The biggest moon. No. The big ones is for me. The little ones is for my dog. I always wanted a dog, and now I got one. I even got to name it. Thank you. The Whoa, bubbles. Man, you don't catch the bubble. Let's <laughs> buy them. Give some to man, you. I love bubbles. I love bubbles too. I think everyone loves bubbles. Let's be real. If you don't love bubbles, explain why. I wish I can catch one. Catch it. I want my bubbles. I love my bubbles. I think Manju and him are Thank so you, cute. Manju. Have another pancake. <laughs> Manju loves syrup. Me too. Syrup is my favorite party. My favorite part too, I actually love maple syrup. <laughs> All these bubbles. <laughs> All the pancakes, and I'm so Man, you love syrup. Me too. Syrup is my favorite party. Yeah? I like the juice boxes as well, and then there's the bubble soap and the syrup. Now I don't, don't know how many. What to do now? Mind you. Gonna watch Manju eat. Really, this. I can eat whatever I want. I never fall. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be Joel in heaven, because that'd be very interesting if it is.
Guys, I think that's it. I believe that was Joel in heaven eating pancakes with his dog Manju, a pug, which I think is adorable. And I don't I don't know what's coming next in this game or my life. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making this fantastic game for Joel Evans. At the time of recording this, this is March 17th, 2016. Joel passed away. And it's been a hard day for them. Thank you for everyone who's watched this far. Thank you, Brian and Amy Green and Josh Larson for creating this fantastic. I am so sorry for your loss. But I felt I got to learn and with you experience. And I think this is one of the most amazing games I have played. John Hillman, you have done a fantastic job. Thank you so much, everyone, for creating this and watching. I love these photos of Joel and Ryan. To everyone who made this possible, to everyone watching, to everyone who's going through, someone they know who has cancer, or if they have cancer and you're watching this, it will end. The pain, the suffering, and you will be happy again. At the start of the project, I said I had, I never really came to terms with my mother's passing. And it's true. I never really did. And I don't think I still fully have come to terms. But I will say this. That. It's helped. Thank you. Ryan and Amy Green for this. Thank you. Everyone who's watched. I keep saying thank you because I'm just grateful. This game has brought to me a lot of respect for life. And it makes me realize how lucky I am. The other night, my grandmother, my mother's mom, was very sad that I didn't know my mom. And I realized I didn't know her middle name. This game was dedicated to Joel Evan Green, but this Let's Play is dedicated to Lori Ellen, my mother. Though I didn't know you, I'd hope you're proud of me. And I hope if there is a heaven, I don't know if there is, but I hope you're there. And I hope you're happy. I hope Joel's there. I'm so grateful to be able to play this. I wish I would have known about this Kickstarter. If you were one of the Kickstarter supporters or backers, please let me know. I've yet to back a project on Kickstarter, but this is one I would back in a heartbeat. This game brought me something that I didn't expect it to bring. It brought a peace that I haven't had in a while. Peace is in with myself.
and I hope there will be an end to that dragon answer. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. As always, I hope you have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. And thank you, Amy and Ryan.